So let's look at the role of the skin, first of all. In defending against pathogens, the skin is a physical barrier, and it's made up of two main layers, the epidermis, the outer layer, and this is toughened by a protein known as keratin uh, to enhance that physical barrier. The dermis is made up of sensory receptors, hair, and blood capillaries, and deeper down, there are skin cells which divide to replace skin cells that are lost from the surface. Now let's move on to looking at mucous membranes. And if you can first define it, a mucous membrane is an endodermal lining. It's a lining which will line cavities which are otherwise exposed to the external environment, such as those found in the trachea, bronchus and bronchioles. Now in these linings, you're going to find a thick, sticky fluid secretion, and that's what we call mucus. This mucus is going to be effective because it's going to stick to any particles that you inhale through your nose or your mouth and that enter into the trachea, and that would include uh, any pathogen particles, and it would prevent them from further entering the body. The other thing that we might find in the trachea are these little ciliated cells with hair-like projections, and they will literally beat in order to push the mucus and any associated particles up and out of the trachea. As disgusting as it might sound, you might find yourself coughing this up once in a while.